Okay, when you're talking about generational curses, healing generational curses, we're talking about ugliness, yeah. demons flying left and right, hurt, mm. we hurt, we're hurting deep inside, all of us are hurting, we cover it up with pleasure and pointing our finger at this person and pointing our finger at that person, but we're truly hurting on the inside, all of us. That, I feel you, let me ask you this, my brother, um, with the work that you two are doing in your, in your movement, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you first, um, Sister Nana. How does it make you feel when you see people going against you, when you're putting your life on the line for them, when you've taken so much out of your life to share with your people and you see how they just give it, like throw it back in your face? How does that make you feel? Look the camera in the eye and talk to your people. There's... A side where I feel like I cry for humanity. That's the mushy, like human experience, intellectualizing my people just throw back in my face was given to them so effortlessly, so just pure heartedly. It makes me cry in the inside. It makes my, my heart just weep for the people, for the minds of the people. But then on a higher perspective, these people know not what they do. Mm, get them. Get them, God. <laughs> that's how I look at it. Get them, God. And that's, that's what keeps me going. Get them, God. God is speaking. Seriously. Mm. And, and, it, and these people know not what they do because of the psychological programming, because of the demon, the, the, the negative way of looking at life like the program the babylon way of living so while they're throwing it in my face while they're making fun of me online while they're trying to attack our culture i would and i forgive those who do not understand and know not what they do until the point in which they do mm -hmm. i love it i i love it I'm, I'm, <laughs> i can see that man i'm, I'm, I'm yeah. feeling life because I know it's my lower self. The separation is an illusion. You understand what I'm saying? I used to be you. Mm -hmm. I used to think like you. So I forgive you. I, I, I got nothing but love for you. You feel me? Like I, I, for, I can't even hate you because I know like my, they know not what they do. That's the Christ conscious. That's the most high. They know not what they do. That's the Christ conscious. That's the most high. They know not what they do. And be and I am learning how to deal with that too. Because when people say, yo, saw that, that nigga saw is a snake. What I do is I turn back around or sometimes I type it in the computer and I say, make sure you call me a cobra though. I'm not just a snake. Call me a fucking cobra, nigga. <laughs> so yeah, what is it that you teaching? What is your teaching? There is no creator. That there is no creator. There is no creator. That's Yet you call yourself the Messiah. What, yes. What's the... Yeah. Okay, the Messiah knows that. Okay. The Christ consciousness knows that there's no beginning, there's no end. There's no creation. All energy is transformed. All is transformed, not created, just transformed. What is, is, and will always be. We are here mentally. We thought ourselves into existence. We came from the primordial darkness, the quantum field of infinite possibilities. Every single night you die, every... Every single rising, you wake up. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Hakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom also to the up and coming elders and you brothers and a uh, few sisters and families laboring in the truth and sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this. I was uh, scrolling through the videos. And uh, I wanted to hear what, you know, the black conscious community had to say about the coronavirus. And I got absolutely nothing, you know. This proves that these are lost souls, man. They don't have any 
They don't believe in the prophecies. But which is ironic, this guy, the nature boy, and uh his one of his wives, I guess. Um this is like uh the 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 most weirdest thing that I've probably seen in a long time. I don't know, there's weird doctrines all over. But uh this this guy, Nature Boy. This is the guy that lives out in the valleys and take all the women's money and uh, live off it and live live in different buses and vans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he lets his uh, son plays with his, you know, his genital area, privates, you know, if, you know, just want to say it like that. Uh, why he has, you know, sexual relations with his wife. I mean, this is all kinds of crazy madness. But, you know, what I found funny as well is this this woman that he's with. You can see she's weird, you know. Uh, she's just got one of those weird traits about her. But she listens to this guy, you know. And, and the racket is that these men like uh, this guy here, Nature Boy and Brother Polite, they're the first to call women gods, Right. And God just, you know, means power, right? And it, it looks like as they're putting all the power in these women's hands, but they're reversing it. <laughs> they're using the reverse psycho-psychology to uh, have these women follow them in the name of them being gods, you know? And I guess that's the way to do it. You, you build them up, you make them feel super special, and then you turn, you know, you turn on the throttle, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and they start believing that uh, they got them being God is being led by real men. You know, it, it's it's crazy. Okay, Deuteronomy twenty eight twenty eight comes to mind when the Lord said He will smite thee with mad madness, blindness, and a stop. I think let me read that. I think it says the Lord will smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of the heart. Okay, which is of the spirit. I went to that word in the blue letter, astonishment, and it just says, uh, what did it say? Something in the matter of uh, astonishment, bewildering, and stupefaction, which goes to stupefy when you bring it all around, it goes back to stupid, okay? And when you go into that word stupid, it just means slow of mind, given to unintelligent decisions or acts. So you could be so-called a, a straight A student and very intelligent, so to speak, but make unintelligent decisions. And a lot of times these people with high so called high IQs, they're the ones that do that. Okay? This guy possibly could have been a straight A student or a straight E student. You just never know, man. These weirdos. Okay? <laughs> Given to unintelligent decisions or acts, acting in unintelligent or careless manner. He take these women and uh, set up shop like on Gilligan's Island or something. Anybody older know what that is? Uh, a maroon or some form of island or landmass, and uh, you know, grow food. You know, meanwhile while taking all the women's food stamps. <laughs> and he got he's got he's got a, a, a some type of movement going called Carbon Nation, with. So called, well, look like Edomites in there. That is crazy. It says lacking intelligence or reason. Okay. So now I'm going to go also to the fact that he quoted or she quoted uh, Luke, the 23rd chapter. I think when I think 23rd chapter, somewhere in there, when uh, Yahweh said, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. You know, so she quoted that, that verse. Let me see, 23 and 34. It says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Okay? And this is the uh, sickness of these weirdos and what they do is these same weirdos don't believe in the Bible, but somehow they uh, latch, certain, they take certain things out of the scriptures, latch it to their doctrine, and create a new spin because these people want to be saviors. Okay? I mean, at least Polite had a little more sense with what he was doing, but even him with those, these uh, lectures, uh, you know, they quoted scriptures from the Bible. Like Brother Polite mentioned the word, in the, he said in the Hebrew, the word God means breast. And everybody's sitting around looking like, because they don't know, they don't go into Hebrew. 
they don't do no tech, so they're looking to a brother polite to give all the answers, and that's what happens. You know, this is what happens in a lot of Israelite groups too. They sit there and they listen to all the answers, but nobody ever goes in anything. Then when we start going into the text of the Hebrew and the Greek, then everybody wants to go into the Hebrew and the Greek. Polite wasn't doing that. Okay? But this guy, Nature Boy, Nature Boy, as uh, <laughs> Nature Boy has now learned to go to the Bible and call it Christ consciousness. But yet he goes on to say, there is no creator. Hmm. He says, no creator. Uh, Isaiah 45 and 7 says, uh, God created the Most High, says he created the light and he created darkness. Okay? And, and, and you know, you might ask, why is this guy even still walking the earth? Okay? Because the Most High created the wicked for the day of evil, as the scripture says in the book of Proverbs. The Most High created the wicked for the day of evil. Okay, let's go to Ecclesiastes um, 10 and 13. The beginning of his words, uh, let me see. The beginning of his words of his mouth was foolishness. And the end of his talk was mischievous and madness. Okay? This is all pure silly talk, folly. Okay? This is all just weirdos. These are just complete weirdos, man. Okay? This man is saying that he's the chief. You know, chief of carbon nation. All you got to do is create up some weird, crazy doctrine and a woman in the sheep will follow, okay? Matthew 24 and 5, it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And it's Nature Boy. This Nature Boy. Nature Boy is coming and saying, He is the, the Savior. Okay? This Nature Boy is, uh, he's off the rocker. But it, no, the whole point of the video is showing that the black conscious community is totally. Uh, is totally gone. The coronavirus is here. You know, the prophecies are happening. Food shortages, earthquakes, all these things are happening, okay? But the Bible is telling you that what we've been telling you is going to happen, okay? We've been saying it according to the scriptures. But these people ain't looking at looking at that. They're just looking in the sitting uh, lazy boy chairs with uh, with padding sitting on it, you know, padding in the chairs so they can sit comfortably and give all their testimonies. And Captain Desaryak, he's he's a part of the black conscious community because he's always there. He's always look all this time you've been in the black conscious community telling them about the scriptures. This is what you get out of it. You get whack jobs and nut jobs who extract uh, things from the Bible. And then they spin it and make their own <laughs> they make their own doctrine with it. This is what you get when you when you sit up there and have these debates with these nut jobs and these weirdos, man. Okay? This is what you get. Pure mischievous and madness. Okay? So again, that's they have no you know, they have no prophecy. They have no substance in this black, so called black conscience. Black community madness. That's why if you in there, you got to get the hell out of there, man. And you better get out of there quick. Prophecies are happening. The doors of mercy are closing. You know? Soon there's, there's not going to be no... Look, nature boy, he can run to another country. You know? Live off the land. But guess what? The wrath of the Lord is still coming no matter where you go. There ain't going to be no... You know, you ain't going to be no... If you ain't following the laws of the Most High, when this thing wraps up, okay, no matter where you post it up, you're going to be destroyed, okay? The Lord going to get you too. I don't give a, give a damn what hut or, or, or land mass or place you go to or what mountain you try to run and hide to or run and hide and go, go to. Said Netta, he wants to uh, keep having these conferences and these debates. This is all a hook. I don't think Said Netta believed this crap. He don't believe the majority of the things that's being said. But long as it fuels his bank account, and he can sit in his 
comfortable car, you know, and that big fur coat he he, he was wearing, you know, uh, when he was giving some speech in his car, as long as he could do that, and he's making money off you sheep, well, that's on y'all. I don't even really blame Sanetta for that. He gets the ultimate blame, but I don't even blame him for that. You people can't see that this is all, you know what, maybe he should get paid, it's entertainment. Okay? It's just another form of entertainment. Hell, Esau gets paid. Why not Sanetta? He might as well get paid too. You know? <laughs> hey, he's all about the black conscious, black community. Let the black community pay him. Let him get paid off the black community. Hey, that's what he's set up to do. That's all I have on that Shalom.